Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Miguel Perez and today I want to show you my fragrance collection. Here's the deal. I've been collecting fragrances for over two years now and let's just say I've developed a decent collection. Most of these I bought myself. Most of these I got as gifts. I wear each and every single one of these hard. I like to keep them in a little wooden crate inside of my closet rather than storing them in the bathroom. I'm going to give you a quick rundown on all of the fragrances that I personally own. Before we get started, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started with the collection. Let's start things off with the one that I'm wearing today. John Barbados Artisan Pure. Really good tropical scent. Nautica Voyage. This smells amazing. Tre Nui Pour Homme by Armoff. Clone of Green Irish Tweed and Davidoff Cool Water. Next up, Star Walker by Mont Blanc. The smell of this cologne is very relaxing. I love it. Perry Ellis 360 Red. This smells very similar to Aqua Di Gio by Armani. I learned that after doing some research on this stuff. CK1. This fragrance brings back a lot of good memories for me. This was also a gift from my cousin. Thank you. Another gift that I got is La Nuit de L'Homme by Yves Saint Laurent. This is my second bottle of the stuff. The first bottle that I owned for this was a gift from my cousin. Thank you, I use it. Another gift from my family is Prada Luna Rosa Black. If I could call this my signature scent, I would. Come to think of it, this is my signature scent. Going back to the house of Calvin Klein, I've got CK1 Shock. Great cheapy for the fall. Another one I own is Mont Blanc Individual. Another really cool freshie is Jaguar Pace. I bought this for very cheap. It smells very similar to shower gel. Azaro Wanted, another one that I absolutely love and this is my second bottle of this stuff. I highly recommend this if you want something that's gonna last, but don't overspray. Two is the magic number for this. This is a monster in how much it lasts. Next up, another clone of the House of Creed, and that is Sean John's Unforgivable. Smells very similar to Millicent Imperial, and you don't have to pay the premium. Salvatore Ferragamo F Black. This is another very good cheapie, and it smells amazing. And diving into the house of Dolce Gabbana, I own Dolce Gabbana, the one Eau de Parfum. This is a very versatile scent, I love it. Sticking to Dolce Gabbana, I own Light Blue O Intense. This is a better version of the original one, in my opinion. And another throwback to an early video. Curve Connect. This is a very good apple and cinnamon cologne. I really enjoy this. And going back to the house of Calvin Klein, I own Calvin Klein Contradiction. Very good barbershop scent. Zara Vibrant Leather, which smells very similar to Creed Aventus. Doesn't have the exact same performance, but I can let it slide. Another scent that I like to wear when I go out is Halloween Man. This is a very good clone of Paco Rabanne 1 million. It's a lot cheaper than 1 million and it's a lot more wearable than 1 million. Versace Eros, very good party scent. This is gonna be on my wear list for a very long time. Next up is a very good copy of Spice Bomb and that is Beverly Hills Polo Blaze. Going back to the house of John Varvatos, I own the John Varvatos Nick Jonas Crimson Edition. Personally, I think that this cologne smells very similar to soda, but it doesn't smell too bad. I really like this stuff. Banana Republic Dark Cherry and Amber. It smells just like the name suggests. Banana Republic Tobacco and Tonka Bean. Again, smells just like the name suggests. Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct Extreme. This is a very good cheapie, especially for the summer. Blue de Chanel EDT. Self-explanatory. And the last one that I own is Coach for Men. It smells very similar to Dior Sauvage. That's the only reason I own this stuff. So in total, I own 28 fragrances. Is that a lot? Yeah, I own a lot. Do I want to keep growing my collection? Yes. There's a lot of fragrances that I still want to get, but for now at least, I think I'm pretty much set. I wear all of these fragrances hard and I love each and every single one of them. That's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.